Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today on this 4th of July week? I will be covering the percentage chance we have in the Atlantic of tropical development, which means tropical storm or hurricane. It is 10% in the next 48 hours and 30% in the next five days. And I'll be going over 4th of July weather and who knows what else, man. It's Thor News. But first, I wanted to remind you, it is hopefully the last day of the heat wave. Thor News, it's rent time fundraiser. And I wanted to say thank you. We've reached $500. Now my rent is $570 and I would like to have some money to eat, especially on 4th of July. Maybe buy some beer and um, maybe even a hamburger. So we still need about seventy to a hundred dollars, <throat> but this time, the majority of the donations that have come in have been anywhere between like a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, and a lot of people have donated. Now they've been in smaller increments this time, but it is amazing that so many people have stepped up and helped me keep this thing running. I'm pretty sure we're going to make it today. We only need like seventy to a hundred dollars. And I'm hoping that my uh, apartment office is closed tomorrow since it's 4th of July, so I don't get a late fee. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you guys absolutely from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I love to do this because it makes me feel like I am helping people. In a time where deception seems to be the rule, it's nice to at least tell people the real deal that is going on. And so if you are available to donate today i would severely appreciate it we need at least 70 more dollars to make this place unfortunately i've already pawned my ps4 and my guitar so i'm now heavily relying on you guys but i have faith and i'm not going to check the donation balance i'm just going to put out a couple videos today and then check again tonight so there thanks and i just want to say thanks again so yeah dude <clears throat> we're looking at this and it's weird, because like I said yesterday, on the board, they put up, see this spot here? And you can already see it kind of turning. And I'm not saying it's going to be a tropical storm. I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. All I'm saying is that it's 2018, things have been super weird, wild, and wacky. Especially when it involves the weather. So it is best to be prepared and have a plan for almost anything. And so... A lot of people have been saying, hey, dude, you know, they just lowered the hurricane forecast, which they did for the whole season. And then I say, hey, dude, how many land falling hurricanes have they predicted? And then they're like, well, they don't do that. And I'm like, then what's the point? You know? So the only thing we're worried about is major damage done to cities, people, and animals. So as I was saying, this storm right here originally got put on the board at 20% of tropical development. But then they took that off the board and then put this on the board where it's 30% chance cyclone. Now here, if it develops, it has it curving out to sea, kind of. Most of the storms have been ending up in Nova Scotia over the last year. When they do, during a nor'eastern period, they end up way up here north. And so we will just be keeping our eye on that because what has been happening here and over there is weird because if we just watch you know you use your own eyes we have a pretty unique retrograding system right now whereas the majority of the storms usually go from west to east this retrograding system is going east to west and this kind of was doing some weird retrograde doggy paddle motion so yeah the weather's interesting man for sure like look at that so, you know, I would think even someone who hasn't been watching a lot of weather can see that, yeah, that thing is A, rotating, B, moving towards the coast. And if you've been following me long enough, you know that it goes in pulses. And the best way for me to tell if a storm is peaking or not is by the lightning strikes. So when you get to your maximum lightning strike and then it starts to go down, you know the storm has peaked. So right now the storm is still climbing and I'm starting to get under the impression that the worst of the lightning lately has come during the day when the sun is out and then it'll peak somewhere about five. But 
I do not have the peaks of the pulses specifically down yet. But as you can see, Florida getting a lot of lightning. South Carolina, Louisiana, Arkansas, whatever state that is. Iowa? Dang. All right. Please forgive me for my bad geography. So, like I said, it's you could just watch this whole mass, and it's it's interesting, and we're just keeping our eye out. Once again, remind people we have a lot of volcanoes down here in Guatemala. We got a lot of volcanoes popping off in Galapagos. Maybe it's just two, but two is a lot of volcanoes to me, especially if you're in the near vicinity. Hawaii, major problems with lava volcanoes, then the Alaska volcano. So that's a lot of volcanoes near the United States, and technically... Hawaii and Alaska, the volcanoes are in the United States. So, I mean, look at this thing. It's like a little, kind of got the Quetzalcoatl thing with the Quetzalcoatl wings, Quetzalcoatl head, and then the Quetzalcoatl tail, with the scorpion thing. But this system, which just kind of keeps hanging over Louisiana, is, caused, is that causing some trouble, causing some rain. And we're getting a lot of main pop-up storms right there over Florida it appears and so and my friend and the best weather guy out there that I know cranky weather guy has been talking about these storms up here on the east coast although they may be small these little cells have been dropping a whole lot of rain in a very short period of time all right <clears throat> so we're gonna keep our eye out on this situation here because it's still it's been there for like 24 hours just kind of rotating and then we're going to keep our eye out on the Atlantic for you. Because that's what I do. Although after this, I'm going to do a funny space video. I don't know if it's going to be funny. I'm going to try, though. Now let's look at 4th of July weather, shall we? What are, your, what are your plans for the 4th of July? That I would like to know. Also, in the comments section, uh, if you want to leave a... Because I'm going to do a couple videos today as part of the fundraiser. Because hopefully, you know, I need to raise a little money for bills and food and stuff. Um, if you have a suggestion for a subject you'd really like me to cover, please leave it in the comment section. And if you can, make sure that it has a little room for humor. If you can't, you know, I don't know. Woke up, I felt like I have an ulcer this morning. Man, I've been under stress for a long time. Saving the world ain't easy. And we still got a lot of work to do. But, I don't know, I get, feel a little better every day. Have faith. So, this is 4th of July tomorrow, about the afternoon. Looks like the north. East, could get some storms. Looks like Houston and some parts of South Texas are scheduled to get some rain. Which is fine. I don't have any plans anyways. All I do is sit in the apartment and work. It's kind of a not fun existence. I'd like to get back to doing fun stuff. If I can ever. Please, universe, stop these curses. <clears throat> All right. And so then we got Fabio looking big and beautiful with a giant hole in the middle. It's not a hole, they call it. Nah, that's a science term, bro. Let's check Fabio out on the mean sea level pressure. Now, if sometimes you can't handle scary sights, you should look away now. Boom. All right, that's not as bad. I thought there'd be the... There's the gravity waves I was looking for. Or whatever the hell you want to call them. They're just wave waves. Look at Fabio causing some... Motion in the ocean. And so, you know what? I did not check. Let's hop over here. And I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty. I said I just woke up a little while ago. Apparently making nine videos in two days. It's like I'm getting hit by a train. Even though there's not a lot of physical work, it's all mental. It's all inner energy. And you know what? I want you to focus on things you love. How's that sound? Seems like too many people are focusing on things they don't like or things they hate. That seems like a waste of energy, man. Life is too short to spend energy on anger and hate. All right, so here we are looking at the uh, GFS model. Remember, this is just a model, and supposedly it's not accurate after three days, and lately it hasn't been that accurate, really. It just gives us ideas. And so it hasn't been showing a lot of big storms, but they've still been popping up. The best example is three days ago, Iowa, they weren't predicted to get much rain, and they got over a foot. Um, I'll continue to try and edit some videos, because there's this one where 
everybody's inside of a hotel and then the hotel pool and the door like kind of blows open with flood water and everybody's like laughing and they're like what should we do and one guy's like yeah i don't know if it starts to flood this whole room we could be in trouble i'd be like holy shit anyway <clears throat> as you can see this isn't helping much but it doesn't have any major storms on the board in the near near future but that, i don't trust that so i don't think you should either what else we got all right so this is the european for tomorrow at about 3 p.m as I said, around the Texas, Houston area, looks like we could get some heavy rain. Still has rain all along the Gulf Coast and almost all the way up the coast itself, the East Coast. So keep your fingers crossed. But I guess fireworks happen at night. So let's let's fast forward into the future. And it looks like most of it will clear off, except for some parts of Florida, maybe some parts of Texas. Up into around the Dakotas, Michigan. Okay, I'm going to study geography later today. This is the GFS. I said at noon, you got a lot of rain. And the worst storms that have been happening have been open in Canada, really. Our pattern seems to have shifted north. Let's check it out at night. 8 p.m. Uh, the GFS has it a little more wetter with the, this part's getting a lot of rain. All right. Where was that? Let's go to the creepy rain band. Even though I'm the rain man. Rain bands. There's our severe weather crayons. A lot of colors today. Although they're more like orange. Heat advisory. What is black? Seems like a bad color to, color to use. Flash flood warning. Or excessive heat watch. All right, there you go. It just kind of makes it look like the state has been charbroiled. Well, maybe it is. So maybe it's appropriate. So if you're in any of the areas under the color, you need to stay hydrated and stay cool for sure. Where was I at? I was doing some. Oh, yeah, I was. Okay, so yeah, this is the... I don't know what the hell this thing's doing, but watch how it's, it's now starting to really pop. The storm is really now starting to kick. But this thing has just been churning and burning for like 36 hours, so it's definitely something to pay attention to. When you say, I'd say, I just did. And over here, they have it at 10% at one. So when was the other? It still has it at 2 p.m., so yeah, it's 30%. So it jumped from 10% to 30% in an hour. Interesting. So yeah, I'll be here looking at this stuff. Another thing, I know a lot of, during this Thor News Rent Fundraiser heat wave, I've done a lot of one-takers. This video right here, Eclipse Season, Volcanoes and Madness, it's one of my edited ones, and I spent like two weeks making it. So if you haven't watched that one yet, I highly recommend you watch it. It's really, really good, and it's got a lot of information in it. I mean, a lot. <laughs> And it's pretty funny. There's, you know, I like in those videos. I like to put in a couple jokes, so I'll try and put it in this video link. Uh, <clears throat> but I'd recommend that one. That one is really good. And here's the man, the king of weather, Twitter, cranky weather guy, talking about our orange crayons continue. And cranky's got a blog that is fantastic. It's super smart and wonky, but it will teach you a lot. So if you're having weather problems anywhere near you or just want something interesting to read, I highly recommend it. Only other thing of interest in our unique retrograding pattern, upper low comes in dry, but with the support TIV quadrant for SCTD. Is that like a weather sexually transmitted disease? Is that like a bad joke? Ice or thunderstorms will head right into Texas over time following the old decayed MCS. High retrogrades in suit. You know the MCS, what is it? Mesoscale convective system. We didn't use that term a whole lot until about this year. Didn't seem interesting to know. But as I pointed out, you got retrograding systems with forward systems. And we got, what is it? Jupiter retrograde, Saturn's retrograde, Mars retrograde. We got a lot of planets retrograde now. So I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. So I would say no. 
planetary alignments don't mean anything. Maybe that's another video, that video I'll cover today, where all the planets are on the same side. That is an interesting subject, so we'll talk about that later. Cranky weather got highly precipitable water values. Heavy to torrential rainfall should be expected with an ISO SCTD cells that do develop this afternoon. Will cause localized issues. <clears throat> this is the rain I was talking about. The little pop-up storms near Katya. <laughs> Katya. That apparently are dropping some heavy rain if they do pop. And Cranky Weather Guy is back to his old on Twitter, not mad at people self. And so this is what he looks like today. He's been providing updates. Surely you jest. The retrograding pattern continues, which is definitely weird, man. You know? Our dry upper low advancing, creating the localized lift for heavy thunderstorms in the southeast. Flood statements due to the heavy, slow moving cells, even a severe warned one. Kick ass. It's got you. Wear your boots, an umbrella. I guess you need to know by now. You should know by now. Okay, so, man, I'd like to have a good squad again. I would like to be the last person on a great team of great people. Or I guess we can all be equal. Anyway, so that is this wrapping up. I want to say thank you guys immensely again from my heart. You guys have been amazing. And I appreciate y'all as you appreciate me. Mutual pre appreciation is a great thing. And I do got to say, if we could, we got to get somewhere to $70 to $100. And if you put a donation in my PayPal and you have an idea for a video you'd like me to make, please put it in the little note. And that will add a whole lot more weight. I would almost guarantee you that like any donation over 10 or $20, I'd make a video on that subject, but unless it's a really bad subject that I don't want to cover, if it's something too serious, it's going to bring me down because, dude, I've been under so much stress and getting kicked in the balls like when my stepfather died. Everybody who doesn't like me, wants me to fail, hates me for whatever reason, has come out of the woodwork to kick me while I'm down and cause me trouble. I've ha had hacker issues out the ass. Ex-girlfriends showing back up to all fucking not necessarily be nice. Shit like that. And I'm like, wow. You know? But this is the universe testing us. See how strong we are. See what type of person we are. Um, I wrote a chorus way back in the day. And it went something like, I don't think you should. I don't think you can. But go ahead and try it. Let's find out what type of man I am. Maybe I shouldn't have wrote that. Anyway, hopefully we've made it through the worst, or I have, because Jupiter goes direct in a week. Damn, he's tired of being in Scorpio. I mean, I'm sure some people like getting stung by a scorpion and then having the scorpion say, why are you sting yourself as it stings you again? Why are you stinging yourself? Okay. All right. You guys stay cool. I love you. I appreciate it. You guys are badass. Have a fantastic 4th of July. And remember, if we want to keep civilization standing... Asteroid Fight Club and the Astonishers you need to put a little more work in and kick some more ass. And when I say kick ass, I just mean get people to unite, be funnier, come up with great ideas. You know, I'm tired of people putting all their weight behind a political party. We need to be putting our weight and our energy behind great ideas. Because great ideas are not exclusive to any politician or political party. Technically, they like split the ideas in half, so... All right, whatever. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace out. Stay safe and hydrated and have fun. Remember, that's our goal this summer. Have as much fun as possible. Peace out.